Hello YouTube, Cobalt Forever here, bringing you a video on how to solve an error that you may encounter while doing your character configuration file, or even after you may have skipped it and didn't realize it, and you encountered the error that says, bad attack config, don't expect your bot to attack. If you see this error, the first thing you should try to do is hit home, hold it, and then hit spacebar. The reason you want to do this is this will create a character configuration file. And then inside of that file, I'm going to show you what you need to edit in order to fix it. Now, if you already have a character configuration file and you've already done this before, you're going to need to just hit stop on the profile that you're using. So come in here and hit stop. But remember, only do that if you've already created the character configuration file. If you need to know how to make a character configuration file in more detail, I will leave the link below in the description for you guys to check that out so that you understand in more depth on how to do that. Okay, now I'm assuming you already have your character configuration file. We need to find where our attack config inside of that file is. Once we open up and start editing our character configuration file, you're gonna see something like this at around line 440. You can do a search in Notepad for attack config and it should pull it up. Either way, just scroll down until you find this and you're gonna see all these negative ones. This is what we need to edit. For example, I also pulled out a working Paladin attack config so that you could see what it looks like when you're actually done. Now, you don't have to edit all of these lines, but you do have to edit four of them. And that is these four right here have to be edited and you must put numbers representing the skills that you will use to kill the monsters. So where do I get these numbers, I hear you asking? Well, you need to go over to this particular website on GitHub. This is the Colbot GitHub, and this is the skills.txt file. And this, if you look through it, has all of the skills for all the characters in the game. And we're just going to take whichever number we want and plug it into our character configuration. So let's go back to this real quick. Let's say, for example, that this sorceress wants to use Blizzard. Blizzard is 59, so we're going to put 59 for primary skill to bosses and 59 for primary skill to others. Now, there's two more that we need to do. We need an untimed skill. Blizzard, in this particular example, is perfect because Blizzard is timed. You can't just spam Blizzard like you can, let's say, Glacial Spike. Glacial Spike is only limited by your faster cast rate. Blizzard is actually limited by your cooldown. So what we're going to do is, in this example, I'm going to plug in 55 for Glacial Spike because this is an untimed skill, and therefore I can just be spamming this in between casting Blizzard, and this will speed up your killing of monsters that you can hit both with Blizzard and the untimed skill at the same time. And those are the only four that you need to fill out. As you can see with my Paladin example, I actually have secondary skill if monster is immune to primary, and the Blizzard Sorceress all also has that, or any sorceress also has that. And then in the Paladin's case, it actually says secondary aura. And that's because the Paladin can use a different aura as well. I currently have this set up to use Sanctuary and Holy Bolt for the Wave 2 of Bale. So just as an example, you can see where that can come in handy with each of the characters. For example, just one last one. If this sorceress had a couple of points into Fireball, and she was able to actually kill monsters with it, you could actually put that in here. If the monster is immune to primary, you could put in fireball, and then she would spam fireball at them if they're immune. It's not always foolproof. Obviously, things can be both immune to fire and cold, so it doesn't always work, but at least it gives you more options as your character is going through and attacking everything. Once you're done with that, make sure that you save your character configuration file and then restart your bot, and you should no longer be getting that error. I hope to help. If it did, guys, please leave me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. We just reached 1,000 subscribers a few days ago. Thank you so much for that. It's fantastic to have that many subs, and I hope that we can push our way further to 2,000, 3,000, and so on and so forth. So hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time.